Howdy YouTubers, thought I'd make a quick video on setting up an Arduino Mega 2560. This actually works with Arduino Uno as well, testing it. And these are NEMA 23 stepper motors. These are uh, 450 ounce inch motors. I have another one here that I'm going to be using for a fourth axis eventually. Once uh, gerbil or garble or gerbil whatever anyway gerbil uh, supports the fourth axis um actually downloaded the latest version of the uh, gerbil uh, for the mega which is a branch uh, specifically for the uh, arduino mega 2560 um, and i'm just going to show you a quick setup uh, you know i want to do this on the cheap but uh not skimp on the the quality of the parts so you know here goes so i've got three nema 23 motors for the x y and z axis and i actually use some uh, network wires some category six cable and basically bundled the pairs together and i soldered these ones and crimped these ones uh, whatever anyway i'm not sure how i'm going to connect these but i want to have the motors detachable so anyway I bought these motors off of uh, some guy on eBay. I'm going to put the links for all the parts and software in the description below. So I got a really good price on these. These are 100 bucks uh, even for the three shipped free, which is uh, pretty outrageous. And I opted for the dual shaft motors because I'm going to make some knobs here that I'm going to be using to fine, do some fine adjustment. Uh, you can't do that with these motors. You have to actually step them through the software. This way I can actually... Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next step. So I wanted to do this with the Arduino, and I didn't want to pay a whole bunch of money for some software to to do, uh, you know, the G code, and um, to actually, you know, send the G code to interpret the G code. And there's uh, the guys who do the uh, gerbil development also uh, uh, have, uh, I think, uh, I'm not sure if they're associated or what have you, but the guy who does the universal G code sender actually has a uh, GUI version which I'll show you in a bit which uh, really works amazingly well so anyhow I got uh, four of these TB6600 micro step uh, drivers for uh, the steppers and you can see I actually set these up I'll show you the dipstick switch setup because uh, I found a lot of videos on YouTube lacking so this one here has as you can see switch 2 and 5 on um, forgive the quality of the video, my phone is actually shot. And 2 and 5 basically mean, if you look here, we are actually going with a 8 micro step. And these are 3 amp uh, motors, so I've switched number 5, actually sets it for 3 amp steady with a 3.2 amp peak, which is perfect for these motors. And I have them connected. I'll show you how they're connected because this is a big problem. This is one thing I found really lacking. Uh, the direction negative, pulse negative. I've actually wired them together. And you can see here this ground wire goes to a common grounding terminal here where I've actually... I'll show you the entire wiring setup to make this simple. And then we have the direction positive pulse positive going to the Arduino and this is the Z axis but I'll show you the X axis here it goes to port 24 and 30 on this gerbil version it's a 1.1 E uh, released December 19th of this year of uh, last year actually this is 2016 so <clears throat> this uh, 24 volt uh, 15 ampere power supply you can see I've wired the load neutral and earth and that goes to the plug and then we have these are the three on this side are ground the three on this side are positive 12 volts so i have to show you here negative and positive going to this terminal here where i split them off so i've got three positives and they all go to the positive vcc high voltage positive 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 of each one and then the negative which is the ground I've split off over here which basically becomes a common ground for pretty much everything so all the direction negatives 
pulse negative and ground even the high voltage ground all are commonly grounded here these are all commonly grounded the Arduino is grounded on the ground pin 5 volts comes to this rail I'll, I'll explain the 5 volts first in a second that's to power these uh, relays but I'll explain what those are and I just added an extra ground wire here coming from the, uh, this grounding terminal just to make sure I've got a good positive ground happening over here so then we have a solid state relay here that I got on robotshop.com or you can get these on eBay. This is a, a no moving parts, it's just a solid state relay that's going to control the stint. And this is a dual uh, relay uh, I got from also, uh, also from uh, robotshop.com, I think it's a DF robot. Anyhow, and this will be for mist and flood and for the uh, spindle. And those are connected. The positive. The VCC and ground are connected to 5 volts and ground. 5 volts powered by the Arduino 5 volts here. And this rail is, as you can see, jumped all the way across to bring all the red rails on the extimer, on the perimeter to 5 volts. So we have 5 volts going from pin 6, which is the uh, digital pin 6. You can find all the uh, pin uh, pinouts for the uh, gerbil in the uh, Arduino library's uh, gerbil um, CPU map.h file. If you look at that, you'll, you'll see all the pin assignments, but you can see the X, Y, Z axis are pin 24, 25, 26. A, B, C are going to eventually be uh, 27, 28, 29. Then we have direction X is 30, Y is 31, uh, Z is 32, and I guess you know the rest will follow. Then we have the spindle enable on pin 6, spindle direction on pin 5. I don't have a spindle direction set up right now. I don't think I'm going to have a, uh, one of those spindles. I'll, I'll see eventually. But anyhow, then we have pin 8 and 9 are for mist and flood, or flood and mist respectively. And those will be powered up here. I'll show you how this all works. It's, it's actually really simple. I made absolutely no modifications in the software. I just downloaded it, flashed it to the Arduino, and using the uh, UGS platform, software and like I said I'll give you all the descriptions in the link below uh, makes for an amazingly simple setup and it, it's outrageous so let me let me just show you how this works I got this all wired up to my little Windows 10 laptop so just connect the Arduino as you can see and I'll plug in the power supply to supply motor uh, power to the stepper drivers as you can see they're all powered up the indicator lights and let me just show you how simple this is. And using the UGS platform software. Let me show you a quick setup. I mean, this is all open source, and these guys are, are putting together some really cool software. So, anyone want to put together a three axis to become eventually a four axis CNC uh, gerbil mega? It's a branch uh, of the original is the way to go so this is connected as you can see I've laid out my screen this way so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, load a sample file I got from the uh, UGS platform download uh, let me do this one in closure it's pretty cool you can see that there and give you a virtual setup of your machine now the only problem I found to actually make this all work is you have to put the spindle to 99% that 100% for some reason it just never goes on so uh, I'll set the speed to 25,000 RPM, S25,000. And now the spindle at 99% will be, I guess, at 25,000 RPM, I'm imagining. And we'll go ahead and fire this off and check this out. Modifications whatsoever. As you can see, spindle is on. You can see the relay is on. And I'll just show you the uh, this relay go on and off with the flood and mist. So I'll click on flood. See goes on. I'll click on flood again. Now on mist. That's the other channel. And there you have it. I mean, this thing is ridiculously cool. Simple as it can be. 
little modifications eventually when uh, these guys are actively developing the software. So I imagine they're going to be adding the fourth axis very soon. And I can't wait to do that because I'm probably going to be just about ready to build this CNC once they have that version of it. But either way. Oh, by the way, let me show you this here. You can also override feed rate here. And bring it down to a crawl. You can see that. That is the coolest. Hey, I'll just reset it and you'll see it just pick up right away. That's sick. So I'll stop that. This is a hard stop. And then return to zero. <clears throat> now for the the setup, um, you know, read the wiki. You know, for eight steps, you know, I'm planning to use a ten uh, uh, one one tenth of an inch uh, per revolution lead screw, which will give me uh, ten revolutions to do one inch. And what it basically works out to is for eight micro steps. Uh, there's the formulas and everything out there, but. For eight micro steps, it works out to 629.921 for X, Y, and Z because I'm using the same motors. I upped this value to 2000 uh, because these motors actually support it no problem. And the acceleration I doubled as well and I set some soft limits. But uh, that's pretty much it. And this thing is just ridiculously cool. And, uh, you know, jogging, exercises, and exercises. And sorry, man, it's New Year's uh, Day. Happy New Year, all. Hope you enjoy this. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And the reason I chose to do this, by the way, just as a closing note, is I wanted to do this uh, the cheapest way possible. You know, it's uh, if you consider, you know, a hundred dollars for this. I paid like. $48 for the four of these, so basically for 12 bucks each. I paid 25 bucks for this total 10, and then maybe 40 bucks, uh, 30 bucks actually for that. So it, it comes out really cheap, and this software is just really amazing. And just to show you a real quick uh, serial stress test, show you what this puppy does. I mean, this is because the acceleration, I doubled the acceleration and, and doubled the uh, the maximum speed of the steppers, and it's just really ridiculously fast. Really cool. Yeah, going back to zero, I think. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed. Happy New Year.